Unbuckle the harness by pressing the red button. Hold the two buckle latches together and engage them before putting into the harness buckle. To loosen the shoulder harness straps by pressing the button in between the child's legs and put the two shoulder straps at the same time. Remember to tighten the shoulder harness straps by pulling the crotch adjuster belt towards to you. Pressing the bottom located in front of the face, and then the seat can be rotated. Pull the headrest height adjuster and headrest at the same time. Don't forget to select the correct height of the shoulder straps and engage in the position that fits your child by releasing the adjuster. Press the isofix adjuster to pull out the locking arms and it is important to put the two isofix locking arms into the isofix attachment points. Adjust the seat to the maximum angle. Press the button in front of the base and rotate the seat to the rearward facing position. Use the top tether to fix. Put the top tether long enough to hang the latch on the back of the vehicle seat. Fix the top tether on the fixing point. Make sure the hook is tightened up. Press the isofix adjuster to pull out the locking arms and it is important to put the two isofix locking arms into the isofix attachment points. Adjust to the desired recline position before install the car seat. Pull out the vehicle belt. Thread the belt through the back side of the seat pad. Ensure it is not twisted. Engage the vehicle buckle and tighten the vehicle belt. Press the isofix adjuster to pull out the locking arms and it is important to put the two isofix locking arms into the isofix attachment points. Make sure the 5-point harness and seat pad has been completely removed. Ensure the loop the vehicle shoulder belt through the vehicle shoulder belt guide. Pass the vehicle waist belt through the vehicle waist belt slot. Then Engage the vehicle buckle. 